Before we go to that, let's rewind just for a moment here because I think there are a couple of things that are worth discussing a little bit further. You mentioned the DNS. Yep. And so one of the problems is that you know, somebody, if somebody has DNS servers on the internet, they can be used to facilitate application attacks. Now, generally those cases are referred to as open DNS servers. And John, I don't know if you have any comments on this, but there are some things that you should do on a DNS server to keep them from being abused in this way. Well, yeah, I mean, when you set up your DNS server, if it doesn't need to be a recursive resolver, which basically means that it will answer anybody's DNS query, mm -hmm. normally if you're going to put a DNS server on the internet, it's for authoritative purposes, because I want, I have my own domain name, and mm -hmm. I'm only going to announce domain names with respect to my domains that I are, am hosting. Mm -hmm. But people put these out, they're probably just not thoughtfully setting them up and deploying them and they're set up as recursive resolvers and then they get abused by right. people in these uh, recursive attack type of things. Yep, so. absolutely. So if you're doing an authoritative server, you should control exactly what it's answering. Right. And if you, if you actually are intending to have a recursive server, you really should have some controls to right. control right. who you really want to be able to use your DNS server. Uh, otherwise, the attackers are going to be abuse, abusing it. And then, the, I guess, a third mechanism, relatively new in DNS bind, is the ability to put rate controls in place. Oh, so right. you won't get lots and lots of requests for the same thing and be answering it, you know, just completely uh, blindly. And, and I, I was going to also mention there are a lot of devices, Internet of Things devices that people yeah. deploy that they don't realize are acting as the DNS resolver on the internet facing side. Yeah. So sometimes that's very hard to discover on your own. There are probably test tools out there you can use to have it come back and try to test your network, mm -hmm. um, pinging you back and whatnot. Uh, but that is another situation that we've seen out there where it's you know, not so much a misconfiguration by the user, mm -hmm. but just bad design by some appliance or piece of hardware that you're mm -hmm. deployed in the network. Yeah, good point. Um, and not necessarily plug in any particular service, but Shodan may be able to show, uh, provide True. that kind of yeah, show uh, insight. You so if you know that. your internet facing IP address, just do a quick look up on there, see what services it looks like are showing up. And, and uh, I think there's an openresolvers.org website as well yeah, that'll well test be, you back as probably. well.